Hey my girls, hey my guys, it's your girl Miss Michonne and I wanted to say welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a story time and baby let me tell you I'm ready to get into it because well, number one, um, recently when I was just doing like some shopping, I was picking up some self-care items and I don't want to say the item right now because I don't want to like give it away but basically i was picking up some self-care items and i had like almost like a flashback like a little memory spurt of like uh this incident that happened y'all ages 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 forever it was years ago so boom number one i'm 25 so i am a 25 year old female uh new orleans louisiana raised period um <laughs> i don't really need to give y'all like a whole background spill but literally this I, i'm giving my age because i am 25 years not years old right now at the recording of this video and this happened i kid you not probably when i was maybe about 13 or 14 um this happened when i was in middle school so girl not even high school days not even like college stuff like this is back in the gap like back in the g so basically uh i don't even know okay so boom it number one i guess also backstory when I was in middle school, I was a cheerleader. So I used to love, love, love just like trying new stuff, doing new stuff, especially when it came to like makeup, hair, just, I was really just like the ultimate girly girl. And y'all, I swear, I promise you, I always used to be trying all kind of new stuff. So basically, uh, I was, I remember, uh, I literally remember one day she had took me and my little brother to Dollar Tree. Like, you know, you, your mom and them, they, when you young, Dollar Tree seems like, oh my God, like you get everything for one dollar, one dollar, man, I'm about to go to the $20, I'm about to come out with 20 things, man, like, you know what I'm saying, you just go to, you go to Dollar Tree and you thinking like you're doing something big. So I remember my mama, she took me and my little brother to Dollar Tree. And, you know, she gave us some little money or whatever. So, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm about to get this. I'm about to get that. I'm about to get that. Whatever, whatever. So, fast forward, maybe, like, had to be probably, like, a couple days later, right? So, I'll say that I had them use the items that I, <laughs> that I bought from the store, right? So, that I bought from Dollar Tree. So, any and everything that I had bought, it had probably been used at this point. And I'm saying that because the, the item in question had also been used every day, multiple day, like, you know, multiple times a day, da-da-da, right? So, I keep saying da-da-da, y'all don't even know the tea yet. So, basically, when I say da-da-da, it's like, okay, you know, like, you know, such and, such and forth, like, <laughs> but basically, I had used the, the item in question. So, I remember I had went to school, y'all. Like I said, I was doing cheerleading, so I was always sometimes having to like stay after school. Um, sometimes we would do we would have like after school practices, especially like if we was preparing for like a game or something like that. So I was staying after school. Like I think one time I was after school, like so I used this product then as well. So that probably was like my third time using it throughout the day. So this this definitely was something I was using every day, multiple times throughout the day, and I'm stressing that because. I feel like just now thinking back on it, it's like, girl, what was you doing? Like, what the fuck was you doing? What were you doing? So, I <laughs> I literally got home. And I remember I took my, like, bath and stuff or whatever, used the item. Child probably went to sleep. It was whatever, whatever. So, I wake up the next morning. Now, mind you, this is a couple of days probably after I first even got this item, have used it. We went to the store, period. This is like prob probably, y'all, no more than like a week after. So, literally, let's get to it. I get home, you know what I'm saying? It's still like my arms are still a little irritated. I done went through the school day. Child, probably itchy, 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 all in class. <laughs> all in class, probably on the arms, itchy, itchy, itchy. So, I get home or whatever you know just normal shit normal shit literally i get home nothing is like still super abnormal or whatever so i'm just doing what i'm doing i take my shower i use the product clearly by now y'all know that if if you're smart or if you've caught on to the context clues something you use multiple times a day or just whatever it is deodorant so i put on my deodorant and you know i go to sleep or whatever i done took my bath took my shower or whatever 
that's that i wake up the next morning now this is probably at this time this is definitely probably a week you know a week or a week and some change after i done been using this product well i could say deodorant now but this is probably a week and some change after i've been using this deodorant child i woke up that next morning with this little i don't even know i'm gonna call it at this stage a knot I'm going to say like a little bump. It was No, no, I'm sorry. It was like a little bump. It was like a little bump, like a little knot. It wasn't super big. No more than probably like a dime, a nickel. No, no, no. Probably like, probably about a, mm, probably about dime nickel size. Like in between, like a little bit bigger than a dime, but no bigger than a nickel. So, you know, I noticed this little like bump or whatever. So I'm like, hmm, okay. Like, you know, I don't really know. Like, whatever. Like, it's like I'm, I, I peep it. I see it. I feel it. But I don't really do nothing about it. I think I probably literally just put some alcohol on it. And that was it. Kept it moving. And then, like, you know, went to school type stuff, right? And that's that's one thing about me, y'all. It is If it's one thing I'm going to do, if it's one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some alcohol on something. I don't care what it is. I don't care what, <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. Alcohol cures all. So, I'm going to put some alcohol on it. So, I really don't remember, like, you know, how my day was, like, exactly that day. Like I said, this is middle school stuff, y'all. So, I really don't recall exact, exact details. So, yeah. But these are the, basically the details leading up to that day. Like, the infamous day that I'm trying to tell y'all about. So, I, uh, you know, I have a regular school day. I get home or whatever. My mom asked how was my day or whatever. So, I tell her, I'm like, oh, okay, da, da, da. So, I end up telling her, like... Oh, yeah, you know what? This morning or whatever, like, I noticed I had this little weird bump under my arm or whatever. And so, y'all, like, literally, I don't even know if I should, like, the Okay, like, y'all gonna see my real deodorant. But look, I'm a real girl. This is the real YouTube channel. I'm a real human. I'm a real human girl. Okay? <laughs> so, real human girls wear deodorant. So, boom. Don't, like, you know, ignore all of that. Okay, y'all. So, mind you, literally, the bump, it was, like, right here. It was legit. Like, if this underneath you know under my arm where you see the fold this is where i put my deodorant you know i still was even at a young age i was very properly trained on like you know the basic stuff like how to put on a bra how to put on deodorant like you know how to wipe the front to back like y'all y'all be you you will be surprised at the stuff parents don't teach or the things that kids just really don't know some things you don't just know everything on your own so nevertheless i'm just letting y'all know like you know my mama taught me well like she wasn't out here slacking like you know what i'm saying i basically knew how to properly put on deodorant so uh you know this is the area where deodorant went on to go and i'm trying to figure out how in the f i get a bump right here so i show my mama the bump um she looks at it and she's just like you know she touches it a little bit squeeze it a little bit like you know poke pride or whatever and she was just like oh um yeah i don't know maybe put some alcohol on it and so I was just like, yeah, I did that. I did that. So, you know, I'm thinking like maybe it's just a bump, like just come from whatever. So she was like, yeah, Mo, I don't know. That's weird. Like just, just, just put some alcohol on it or whatever. Like, you know, it should go away. You should be good. Whatever, whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know, if my mama said put some alcohol on it. I didn't already did that. Like, I'm good. It's going to dry it out. We good. We gooch. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I kid you not over the next, I just remember it took maybe like a day or two that mother boy y'all this this bump quadrupled in size <laughs> when i tell remember i said it started off as like maybe about a nickel size y'all we're at half dollar point we're at full not even bump no more this is a big ass burl this is a fucking knot this is this is like huge y'all this i wish i literally wish i could have had a picture or some receipts or something to like show y'all this bump was so big, so freaking huge. I'm just like, what kind of freak am I, man? What's going on? What the hell is going on with my body? So, literally, I'm just like, damn. Like, at this point, and, and it's, it's the bump's so big, y'all. I'm legit holding my arm a certain way. Like, I got a cast or something. I'm literally just like this. Like, it's like, it, it won't even allow me to put my arm, like, my arms down. It won't even allow me to put my arms down all the way. What the hell am I going to do? What am I going to do? So, I remember... Whenever it got big like that, I told my mama again. I showed her. And man, <laughs> my mom was like, what have you been doing? And I was like, what you mean? She was like, what have you been doing? Like, what? Did, what where did this bump come from? How many days have you exactly had it? Like, how, how long do you remember having it? And 
what have you been doing differently? Like, what, what what's going on? Like, what have you been doing? So I was like, I don't know, mom. Not, I haven't been doing nothing. Like, I'm not like, like going to bump world or something like and just ro rolling around like i mean like it's like I'm, like I'm like girl like i don't know i'm not i haven't been doing nothing so she was just like you haven't been uh like you put perfume under your arms or something or something like she started asking me all kind of different little questions right so my little brain is buzzing i'm like oh oh snap now i did start using this new deodorant and i told her Y'all, she asked me, what kind of deodorant you Because at that time, I was using Secret. Now, mind you, too, this is also one of those things, like, you do what you're taught at a certain age, but when you get older, you develop your own just style of doing stuff. You develop your own preferences. You develop your own thinking, your own ways of thinking, like, just everything. So, mind you, at this time, I was using Secret because that's what my mama used. My mama buy herself Secret. She buy me Secret. Then we both using Secret. So, at this time... It jogs my memory that, oh, shit, I've been using a different deodorant. And I bought it at the dollar store. I was like, oh, you know, my, I got this new deodorant that I've been using that is kind of different. And I bought it when we went to Dollar Tree. Yo, <laughs> my mama was like, what? I said, what? She was like, you bought deodorant from Dollar Tree? I said, well, yeah. I mean, like, you know, because I'm at that age, y'all. I'm just not thinking, not even on no bougie shit, like, it ain't quad. Like, you bought the order from Dollar Tree, more so the quality type of it. Like, she's just like, what are you doing? What 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 are you doing? So, basically, I'm just like, yeah, I bought the order from Dollar Tree. So, she's like, Shama, go get the deodorant. Let, let me see. Let me see the deodorant. Like, what is it? So, I go get the deodorant. I show her. Y'all, she's just looking at the deodorant, literally, like, shaking her head. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, what? She was like, Shama, this is some old little uh, cheap deodorant. I'm pretty sure you done caught like some kind of allergic reaction or like that's probably why you was itching at first. Then it developed into a bump and this, this, and that. I'm like, well, what the hell gonna happen? Am I gonna die? Like, what the fuck? I'm literally scared. I'm like, so how long do I have? Like, I mean talk to me okay so let me also tell y'all this the deodorant that i was using was the pink lady um teen spirit deodorant y'all ever use like if you and then i can't i can't even make a disclaimer and say like oh y'all don't use the teen spirit deodorant or if you're young and you're watching this don't use the teen spirit because everybody body is different everybody body definitely is different one of my peers at that same time could have used this teen spirit deodorant and been perfectly good i don't even know but the way she, my body was set up my body said girl what in the what is this what are you doing what is this so literally this is where the story really takes its turn y'all the, the 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 reason for me telling this story because it triggered this trauma like when i picked up that deodorant because when i was doing my uh self-care like vlog video whatever I'm, i was looking for a new deodorant which now i use the native uh peach and nectar or something like that and y'all it is everything it smells so good so fresh but when i was picking out that deodorant and just thinking about a deodorant to find i literally thought about this story because i'm like bro oh my god i literally got in trouble over something that was not my fault so boom i had this teacher this is my shoot yeah this is my seventh grade english teacher now mind you if you if you know me and you've seen this video and you went to my middle school uh you may know who i'm talking about <laughs> so in the video i'm just call her i'm not gonna like i'm not about to talk too bad about her on this uh youtube channel but i am about to get her together so so i'm gonna give her a nickname her nickname is gonna be miss roller rap she always used to have these bomb ass like curls y'all like she had her like a natural hair probably like you know permed or whatever but it was it would literally be a little bit past shoulders pretty curls or sometimes she would just have it like where i could tell she did like a little roller wrap or something so miss roller wrap we're gonna call her i mean we're gonna call her miss roller wrap and she was a really a crazy ass teacher y'all like i don't even understand like okay so this is the type of stuff she do i never forget on the first day of class this lady told us in this class i do not <laughs> that lady said in this class i do not grade i don't i don't give you grades you're gonna give me your <laughs> you're gonna give me your grades this lady would literally be like 
first of all, she would start the class off with these little stupid affirmations that at the time, nobody cared about that. <laughs> nobody cared about that. Nobody cares. <laughs> like literally, Miss Roller Rap, you saying all of this, but we're just ready to like go home. We don't care. <laughs> so she will always start out the class with these positive affirmations. She will literally be like, okay, young people, today we are going to look productive. Today we are going to sound productive. Today we are going to be productive. Are you being productive? Look productive, sound productive, be productive. Like, girl, get your ass in a seat and shut up because we just, we were just not caring. Nevertheless, this was one of them days she up, she teaching, she talking now, mind you, like I said, this lady did not give grades. We give her our grades. Literally, we, the students, give her, the teacher, our grades. Oh, you know what I left out too? So let me rewind a little bit. So that morning, it hadn't got huge. And my mama was like, yeah, you, I don't know. Like, if this don't, you know, like go down or whatever, we just gonna take you to like an urgent care or something. She was like, but for right now, I'm gonna run some hot, 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 boiling hot water. And I'm going to put it on there. You're going to have to take it. Let it like, like you know, let, like keep the towel on there as long as you can. So, boom. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Literally, I keep the towel on there. It's burning the life out of me. But, you know, I'm doing what she said because I'm hoping for some positive results. So, that's that. You know, I go off to school. That's that. Now, mind you, this was, I, if I remember correctly, like my six or seven period class. I just remember it was at the end of the day. This class was definitely after lunch and at the end of the day. So, man, we in class. Had this lady teaching, talk, 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 talking. I literally just like feel. <laughs> Y'all, I, I literally just like feel something like wet. <laughs> so, I look down. And when I tell you it is pus and like blood and just all type of shit leaking down my arm, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Literally, like, I'm, I'm so drove because I'm in class. Like, I'm in class. <laughs> like, what the, what? So I look, I'm like, oh my God. So I get up, I get a tissue or whatever. You know, she's still teaching. She's not paying me no mind, this, this, and that. So I'm just like minding my business. I'm just like, you know, doing what I'm doing. I'm cleaning up my arm, getting whatever. And then also we, our school uniform shirts, they used to stop literally about right here. So it was a perfect like way for me not have to like, you know, have a jacket on or like roll my arm sleeve up or nothing. So I'm just, I literally got the, the paper towel and I'm just like dabbing this thing. I'm trying to stop it from leaking. I'm literally just trying to Girl, I don't even know. Trying to get my life. Y'all, I don't know how this lady saw me. Now, mind you, I didn't sit in the back. I ain't gonna lie. I was one of them. Even in high school, I, I love to sit in the front of the class, y'all. I love. I used to love school and I love to learn. I was, a, I was a nerd. I was a big nerd. So I would definitely like be in the front of whatever probably most classes I was in. But y'all, this lady saw me and she was like, what are you, what is that? What are you, what are you doing? I said... I said, oh, I, I had a bump and it popped. I'm just like trying to like, you know, clean it. This lady literally stopped the whole class. And she was like, what? A bump? Let me see. So I'm just like, I'm embarrassed as fuck right now because I'm like, bro, you trying to loud cap me in front of the whole class and it's working. Because now everybody, everybody's looking at me. Everybody's like looking at me. Legit looking at me because she's talking to me. She's a teacher and she's talking to me. They not paying attention to her no more. They paying attention to whoever she's talking to. So I'm just looking around. I'm just like, what's up, y'all? All right, all right. So literally, I'm trying to show her this bump. So I'm I'm kind of like just trying to hit one of these numbers or like a eh, like, you know, just eh. Something trying to show her this bump or whatever. She was like, no, lift your arm up. Let me see. So I lift my arm up, y'all. That bit probably look like this. <laughs> like a fucking it probably looked like a fist to her like it was this bump was gigantic i don't even know how to stress how big it was so she literally she was like oh oh no oh uh, oh oh no oh oh no you gotta go you gotta get out <laughs> get out so i'm like i'm literally looking like what she was like, get out. Go to the nurse. You can't sit here and play with that in class. You can't sit up in my class and do that. Mm -mm. I don't even want to see that. That is nasty. Ugh, get out. So I'm like, 
oh my god talk about embarrassing moment like y'all i'm legit mortified af i'm looking like now all 25 of my classmates have seen my bump have seen it leaking bud and pus and whatever god knows what else and now my teacher has publicly made me a a, a spectacle <laughs> like this lady is literally loud capped me and made me the spectacle of the class everybody looking at me everybody just like yeah that shit is nice yeah get our ass out of here <laughs> get out shut up, get out <laughs> like literally so i'm just and then another thing side note i am from new orleans if you do not know so literally i mean i know i probably say that a lot but ribbon culture ribbon or like with joning um cutting whatever i be forgetting like whatever other people call it but baby when you getting that ass ate up when they're reading you down reading you down boots like that that is ribbon and you will you could be the prettiest girl in the world like you could be sweetie going to my school right now and you will get real it does not matter you know and not saying like sweetie is the pinnacle of prettiness or beauty but i'm just saying that is someone who all of society can agree that she's a very beautiful girl and they will read that whole down. It does not matter. <laughs> like it does not matter. So I got people starting to rib me. Like nigga talking about my bump. Like nigga just like, all type of stuff. So I'm literally just like, I said Miss R like, oh, I said her name. <laughs> I said, Miss Roller Rap, uh, what what do you want me to do? Like, I don't, I don't know what, like, I'm trying to drain it. Like, what? she was like, I told you what to do. Get out. Just go, go to the nurse. So I go to the nurse, y'all. The nurse puts like this little, I guess, like needle or something. She literally like stuck it basically and punctured it by like, pop, bring it to her head. She popped it fully and she drains it as much as she can. So mind you, it is kind of going down. It's not as bad. It's not um like leaking no more, like all kind of stuff coming out of it. But legit, I'm still in the nurse's office just like holding it. So once I held it, I probably held it for like, mm, maybe like 10 minutes or whatever, just dabbing it, squeezing it, all that kind of stuff, you know, putting pressure, just making sure nothing else coming out, right? So the nurse, I think she literally like, you know, wiped it down with the little alcohol swabs. I mean, with the little alcohol pads or whatever. She put one of those big band-aids on it and she sent me back to class. Cause baby, if you know anything about anything, you know, the one thing about it, you not about to sit in the nurse's station all day, unless you got like cramps or like it's something really dire, you throwing up or something like that. You know, baby, this, you was not about to just linger in the nurse's office. <clears throat> so I get back to class. I'm not, you know, like I, I walk in or whatever and I'm trying to, well, no, let me say this. I didn't walk in. I knocked on the door and I'm about to walk in and she's literally like, where you going? I was like, I, I went to the nurse's, nurse's office. I got it drained and I got a bandaid on now. So, you know, I'm trying to show her like, look, sis, I got a bandaid. Like we're good. Right. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh -uh. you can't, you can't come back up in class with that. I said, what? She literally was like, hold on. Let me see. She got all my shit. She packed up my books and my book sack and stuff and literally gave it to me through the door. Like I had Ebola. Like she literally was acting like I had something so contagious. So I'm like, I'm just in there looking. I'm like, wait, what? She was like, you could just here, sit, sit outside the door. You could just sit right here. You don't, now don't wind off. What do you mean? Don't wander off. Don't go nowhere or whatever. But you're telling me to sit by the door. She was like, you can finish the rest of your work right here. You know what I'm saying? We're not really doing much today. This, this, and that. So, y'all, legit, I spent the rest of that class period, like, outside, in the hallway, like we was doing the fire drill. I spent the rest of that class period sitting on Indian style outside. So, the, the class comes to an end, basically, I go up in there, I ask her, I'm like, so Ms. Roller Rap, like, what do you want me to do for my work for the day? She was like, so, um, what kind of grade, what did you get today? What, did, what was your grade today? Mind you, I told y'all, she literally, literally <laughs> would ask us, the students. Now, mind you, a teacher asks you, what's your grade? What you saying? What you gonna say? Because I know what I'm gonna say. I'm about to tell her I got an A. So, legit, <laughs> legit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm laughing, y'all, because my boyfriend, look, he had a, a a similar situation, not even a similar situation, 
but kind of a similar situation of the same teacher kicking him out of class on the first day of school <laughs> on the first day of school because she thought he was like tripping another student or like playing around it's child miss roller rap was not all there if you ask me but so she asked me you know the the class is over or whatever i uh, mind you i don't watch all my peers go skedaddle out the door i gotta wait to talk to her at the end as the last person she talks to me she was like you know what was your grade i said oh for today she was like yeah what was your grade for today i said oh an a she said oh, okay <laughs> i said oh, okay <laughs> literally that was like i was like yeah and she was like okay i'll put it in the computer see you later i hope everything you know i hope you be good with your like you know your bump i hope everything i hope you feel better and I'm just sitting there like, girl, I hope you know I didn't do that fucking worksheet. <laughs> like, I hope you know whatever work that we had that we was supposed to be doing, I did not do that shit. I remember I was in the hallway mad as fuck. I was so mad because I'm like, bro, how dare you? You done already embarrassed me in front of everybody. You done loud cap me. You done literally banished me from the class. <laughs> and now you're making me, you're telling me now that I done kind of got the situation rectified, you want me to sit outside and do my work? Are you dumb? Are you cr- You think I'm about to really do that? No. <laughs> no. So I did not do my work that day, and I just lied, lied to her. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I got an A. And I'm not going to lie. Like I said, because I was a, like a smarty smarty, all my teachers, like I could tell my teachers something, and they would definitely believe it, or they would definitely just take it as fact or whatever, because they've known that that's all they've known of me anyway to just you know give i never did nothing like subpar i would always definitely always give anything i did in school my all give great projects great you know schoolwork or whatever so when i told her that it was it was like believable and so i just told her i'm like yeah i got an a for the day and she was like okay i'm gonna put it in the computer i said okay see you tomorrow <laughs> like i will see you tomorrow i'm going to my next class because you really got me effed up. And y'all, from that day to this one, it's crazy because I had saw this lady at McDonald's and I spoke to her. And I literally wonder, like, did she ever remember that? Like, I mean, because I'm not the type, like, even right now telling the story, I know I might the title might be a little misleading. Like, oh, she kicked me out of class. Like, yeah, that bitch did kick me out of class. <laughs> she did kick me out of class. But I ain't gonna lie, for, for, for her, I don't have the energy or like I don't have any like anger or whatever. Or this is middle school type, you know, this is middle school. So I'm definitely not like harboring any feelings about it. So when I saw her, I definitely like spoke to her or whatever. And she looked good. She still, you know, looked good and had a little roller wrap and stuff. So that was that. And it's funny because when I told my boyfriend that I spoke to her, he was like, why would you talk to her? <laughs> like we are, we as a collective are ops with her. <laughs> like we do not fool her. So but I mean that's him. He don't he don't fool her. I don't I don't really got no problems with her. But that was pretty much the end of this story time, y'all. I feel like I didn't sit here and talked forever, but literally that was the story. That was the story of how number one, I used jank as cheap deodorant and got some kind of weird infection or bump or cyst or whatever. I don't who knows what it was. And of how when that very bump or cysts or whatever it was popped and came to her head my teacher took that as an opportunity to kick me out of class like girl <laughs> literally y'all i don't know that was like i guess low-key one of probably my most embarrassing i just realized like I, i've never really because besides if you were in the class because i i have friends that i'm still friends with to this day that we joke about that now of course like you know it's it's funny we could laugh about it ah, like yeah, we could laugh but back then it was y'all the most like one of the most embarrassing things that i've ever been through ever but that was pretty much it <laughs> that was the end of this story time i hope y'all enjoyed man comment if you're if you're bold and you ain't got no shame in your game comment your most embarrassing story time like tell me what what have y'all been through like what kind of stuff have y'all been through that was like super embarrassing it's like you looking back at it now it's not that bad but back then you was like yo oh my god <laughs> like but that is pretty much it y'all that's all i have to say like i'm about to end this video here it is starting to rain outside so it's actually like starting to get a little loud a little background noise so 
Y'all make sure y'all like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and catch me in the next one.